Good morning, everybody. Hope you've had a great week, good weekend planned. And we'll get that started by looking at a few verses uh, out of the 119th Psalm. And uh, some of us may think we can ignore these uh, because of their uh, of their audience that is uh, listed here. Uh, first uh, line of verse 9 says, Wherewith all shall a young man cleanse his way. And so some of us may say, well, that doesn't apply to me. Um, but um, I think um, we may be stretching the word young. Remember how long the folks uh, in the Bible live. So most of us would probably count as young uh, to the uh, to biblical authors. And so uh, let's not ignore this passage just because it's addressed uh, to a young man. Uh, because it does give uh, advice and counsel on how to uh, live uh, a good life. And as you may uh, already uh, have figured out based on what we've talked about, about the, uh, the theme and the way this psalm is written, um, you see in the next line in verse 9, he says, How do they do it? Uh, by taking heed according to thy word. Uh, and so the psalmist is going to spend some time here in this second section. Again, this section uh, in the Hebrew would begin uh, with the Hebrew letter Beth, uh, which is, again, the second letter of uh, the alphabet. And I said each uh, one of these sections, um, again, uh, start with the next letter uh, in the alphabet. Uh, no real symbolism to that. It's just uh, an acrostic. Uh, was uh, One of the main reasons for that would be for, uh, for the uh, readers to be able to uh, be a tool uh, for uh, memorization. Uh, and so uh, as uh, we look at this, we, uh, again, the psalmist desire um, for himself and for others uh, is uh, to be committed to the Lord, uh, uh, to go after the God, the, the Lord completely. Again, with my whole heart have I sought thee in verse 10. Uh, and so he is explaining, uh, again, not only his, uh, his desire, uh, but how he plans on doing it. Uh, again, we see, again, more words, uh, according to thy word. Don't, don't let me wander from your uh, commandments, your word have I hid in my heart. Uh, and so, the, the, again, he's just really stressing the importance uh, of following uh, the word of God and staying uh, true uh, to, uh, to to following uh, that, uh, that word. Um, and um, as I think about that statement, wherewith all shall a young man cleanse his way, um, it, uh, it, it, I, I do think, uh, again, um, and this is a, an opinion, uh, I'm not sure uh, that it's 100% uh, correct, but uh, I do think that it's uh, in many ways uh, more difficult uh, for uh, a young man, a young person, uh, they are, uh, older people have peer pressure as well. We don't, maybe not uh, like to admit it, uh, but um, young people have less experience, less, um, less sometimes good counsel. Uh, and uh, I like uh, the way the English Standard Version uh, translates the first line of verse 9. He says, uh, how can a young man keep his way pure? Uh, how can he stay on uh, that uh, right way? The, the, the King James makes it sound like you're cleaning up the mess that's already happened, uh, when the actual idea here is uh, of staying true before uh, it, uh, it happened. Uh, and so he says, by the, the way to do that, uh, is to take heed 
uh, to the word of God, living uh, by the word of God. And the psalmist knows, uh, and again, it's true for, and, and I think most of uh, my audience here uh, probably knows that as well. So that's not just true for a young man. Uh, that um, I said, uh, as we get older, uh, the temptations, uh, I don't know that they get any less, they change. Um, but um, the way that we stay true, the way that we stay pure, uh, is by taking heed uh, to the word uh, of the Lord, following his commandments. I am uh, of the conviction and the belief that uh, there is uh, no issue you will find. Uh, that you can't find some general counsel in the Word of God uh, for that situation. You may not find your specific situation laid out, uh, but you will find counsel uh, that generally uh, applies uh, to your situation, uh, especially uh, when you take the next verse when he says uh, that he sought the Lord with his whole heart. Um, that he, he desperately looked uh, for what God was saying to him uh, in his situation. Uh, and then he adds to that in verse 11, he says, Thy word have I hid in my heart. What he means by that is, uh, and again, it was a very common thing, very normal practice for, for the Jews at that time to memorize uh, Scripture. Uh, to, to memorize it. And again, uh, I mentioned earlier about these sections of this psalm starting with each letter uh, of the Hebrew alphabet, uh, again, as a tool uh, for them to help uh, to remember the Lord. Uh, and he did that so that I might not sin uh, against thee. Uh, many times uh, it seems as if people uh, get themselves into situations and then try to go find scripture then. Uh, and what uh, I think the ideal, what the model here for us is, uh, is let's study scripture uh, ahead of time. Uh, let's memorize scripture so that when we need it, uh, we already have it. Uh, and I've used this phrase so in our toolbox uh, that uh, we already uh, can uh, have scripture memorized that uh, that uh, guides us and leads us uh, in those um, in those difficult times and in those uh, temptations and in those trials that come along uh, that we have the word of God stored uh, in uh, in our heart uh, and uh, again I just I think it um, I don't think we can overestimate the importance um, of, uh, of of memorizing of studying, of knowing uh, the Word of God. And I know that's a, uh, an unpopular, um, even some, some preachers today uh, don't um, uh, value, uh, I guess you'd say, the Word of God. Um, but the psalmist understood, uh, and I hope you do today, uh, the importance of hiding the Word of God uh, in your heart because that's how a young man or an old man or a young woman or an old woman, uh, whoever you are, that's how we keep ourselves uh, pure and on uh, the right path uh, that this psalmist desires. All right, I hope that helps you today. Have a great day, and we'll see you back here Monday morning.